Hey guys, it's Blackstone Betty today. I'm sharing with you how I make the crispiest, crunchiest, perfect sweet potato fries right on the Blackstone griddle surface. You guys are gonna love this one to pair with all of your lunches and dinners and even your breakfast. This is one of my favorite side dishes. I can't wait to show you guys how you guys can do this at home. Before we jump into it, be sure to go to that Blackstone Products YouTube channel and subscribe and invite your friends to do the same. That way, you guys don't miss these recipes. Now, let's make some crispy, crunchy sweet potato fries that you are going to just love. First things first, we all know that it's very hard in general to achieve a crispy, crunchy sweet potato fry. Sometimes you guys go out and order sweet potato fries and they're just a soggy mess. But I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make a really crispy french fry on the Blackstone with a few tips and tricks. And I'm showing you guys what I love dipping my sweet potato fries into. Let's start this out with our sweet potatoes. I have three sweet potatoes that I'm just going to kind of sloppy peel. It doesn't matter if there's some skin left on. I don't mind a little bit of the skin. If you want to leave it all on, go for it. Once they are peeled, we're going to slice these up and then cut them into shoestring fries. You could cut these thicker if you want to or into wedges or into rounds. However, I find that doing the shoestring size french fry really helps to achieve a crispy outside. With the perfect tender sweet potato inside, once our fries are all cut and ready to go, we're gonna place them into a bowl that we're gonna fill up with water and give these a nice little mix with our hand and rinse them off one time. So dump that water out and then we're gonna refill our bowl and we're gonna let these sweet potato fries soak in this water for at least an hour. While these hang out, I'm gonna weight them down with an extra glass bowl on top. This way all those fries stay under that water. If you wanna stick this in the refrigerator, if you're gonna be longer than an hour, do that. If you're gonna leave them out on the counter, you can always sprinkle some ice around the top. After our hour is up and I'm ready to cook these sweet potato fries, I'm gonna drain them off and then I'm gonna line them over a dish towel that I also put some paper towels on and really try to dry these potatoes off as well as possible. Now we need to achieve the perfect crispy crunchy crust on the outside of these potatoes. So what we're gonna do is mix two big tablespoons of cornstarch, anywhere between two and three big tablespoons for these potatoes. Try to remember one tablespoon per potato. To that cornstarch, we'll add about three to four tablespoons of water and whisk this together until it is well combined and there are no clumps of cornstarch in our mixture. We'll add back in to the bowl our sweet potato fries that we cut and dry it off and we'll toss these with our hands to completely coat the outside of these fries. Now that they're coated let's head back outside and get ready to cook these to perfection. I have a baking tray we'll just line with all of those fries that are coated in that water cornstarch mixture and then I have some extra light tasting olive oil. I'm going to drizzle this over the top. Season them up with some coarse salt and a light touch of black pepper. Give them a nice mix and let's get that blackstone preheated to high heat. Anywhere between medium and high heat we'll start with. Before we throw these fries down onto our Blackstone to begin cooking, let's get to our dipping sauce. This is what my family calls horsey sauce. It's perfect for sweet potato fries, fried pickles, fried mushrooms. You guys have seen me make this a million times on the Blackstone Lives. This is such an easy dip to keep in your refrigerator. It is so delicious. All we're gonna do is mix up about a half a cup of Duke's mayonnaise, my favorite, and we're gonna add in what's left in this fresh prepared horseradish. You wanna be sure to get the refrigerated horseradish, not the horseradish creamy sauce that's in the center aisle of your grocery store. This is where you could play with um, how much horseradish you like or don't like. I like to go heavy on the horseradish. We'll season this dip up with some paprika 
and some salt and pepper. Give it a good whisk to combine everything and this tastes perfect. So we're gonna jar this up because I keep this in the refrigerator for all of those little snacks and appetizers that we have. It's delicious on so many different things. You can even put this over one of your perfectly griddled Blackstone steak dinners. So delicious. Once our griddle top is smoking, we're gonna drizzle down a little extra light tasting olive oil and get those fries cooking. You'll want to be careful when adding your fries that have that oil and water mixture to your griddle surface. You will get some splash, but this is going to help create a really crispy outside to these potatoes. Once they're on the Blackstone, you want to make sure to spread these out into an even layer, making sure that these fries are not sticking to one another. So you can use your spatula or your scraper or your Blackstone tongs. Any one of those will work and let them begin to fry on each side, tossing them and turning them so that each side of these fries get nice and crispy on the outside while the inside of these fries are cooking and becoming nice and tender throughout. If you seem to need a little extra oil, give them a quick light drizzle of oil so that they can cook evenly. These fries are cut so nice and thin and all evenly, therefore our fries are going to cook in no time. After about 8 to 10 minutes, these fries are ready to get pulled off. We're going to put them directly into a large metal mixing bowl and season them lightly with one of my favorites, the Blackstone breakfast seasoning. I love this seasoning so much. The horseradish in the breakfast blend pairs perfectly with the horsey sauce that we made for dipping. We're gonna garnish these fries with some flat leaf parsley that I chopped up. Give it a good mix in our mixing bowl and then serve these up on whatever platter you like. When making these, you can toss them in your favorite sweet seasoning blend, some sugar, some cinnamon, a little honey butter for dipping. These are versatile. Any way you like your sweet potatoes, this is how to achieve the perfect crispy crunchy sweet potato on the Blackstone griddle. These fries will disappear so incredibly fast, they're so delicious and so perfect to pair with any dinner, steak dinner, that Betty Spring chicken dinner or anything that you enjoy. I hope you guys try this one and enjoy it as much as I do. Sometimes in life all you need is a big platter of fries and that's what I'm gonna go enjoy all by myself. I can't wait to see you guys enjoying these too. When you do, be sure to take a picture and tag me Blackstone Betty and tag Blackstone Products so that we can reshare your creations. We love watching you guys recreate our recipes. Until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty. I hope you guys go enjoy some crispy crunchy fries off your Blackstone.